Meet the Mesh Toolkit. This kit gives cultural heritage professionals the freedom to experiment with new kinds of interactive storytelling. We invited uh, several Dutch museums here to Waag Society to test the mesh technology for us and to tell us what they think. It's great for starters and it's great for small museums because it's so much more user-friendly than I expected. This technology challenges everyone to be creative. You can tell multiple stories in addition to your text labels or give museum objects a voice. Let an object tell its own story when a visitor touches a replica or enters a room. And this is an old stage coat. And the bezoeker die kan dus per object eigenlijk uit drie verhalen kiezen. Het eerste verhaal is meer een basisverhaal voor leken. Het tweede is een verhaal over de geschiedenis van het object en het laatste is een meer medisch wetenschappelijk verhaal. Dan scan je het verhaal. En dan hoor je het geluid. In this way, stories and information become accessible through natural gestures and physical movement. Now that we made uh, this basic hologram, we will use uh, the mesh technology to make an interactive hologram out of it, so uh, we can display it in the museum. The kit contains a base set of multiple sensors, a projector and a pre-configured tiny server, but you can also add your own hardware. The mesh um, gives the possibility to museum people to reuse code of technical people. Sounds a little intimidating? Don't worry. We guide you through the whole process with a user-friendly content system, the authoring tool. Well, I really like that we can prototype ourselves because, for example, right now we're redeveloping our um, Roman galleries, the Roman collection, and we know we want to give people access to certain information, but we, we're not quite sure about the interaction we want. But with the mesh technology, we can quite easily try out different types of interaction. And we can also try out different types of content. So do people prefer video? Do they prefer text or do they prefer audio? And we can do this ourselves and change it really quickly and easily um, to get feedback from our visitors. So we can make a more informed decision on the type of technology we want on gallery. And most of all, it's easy and fun. The only thing you have to do is start playing.